Hi, it's Dr. Mora, Orange County Orthopedic Surgeon. I wanted to show you an MRI on a patient with an interesting finding. This is this is a, a very typical clinical scenario that I see here in my office. This is a 57-year-old lady who came in with complaints of a left posterior and medial knee pain. So this is the medial side and the lateral side. Posterior would be around the back. She went to an urgent care. Uh, after she felt immediate onset spontaneous pain and they told her that she probably had a Baker cyst. When I saw her, she had signs that were consistent with a meniscus tear, so I did an MRI. And the MRI uh, shows swelling of the bone on the medial side of the tibia. It shows a tiny little meniscus tear, medial meniscus tear, but if we follow the meniscus tear towards the back of the knee, uh, this is what we see. We see a classic finding of a root avulsion. So you can see the stump of the medial meniscus. It's free and floating. It should be attached to the bone. This is called a, a root avulsion of the medial meniscus. And as soon as that the meniscus tore away in the back, it, it led to the meniscus uh, displacing slightly more medial. And what that does is it causes or leads to increased pressure from the bone, from the femur bone onto the tibia, and it, and that femur bone pushes down on the tibia. It's almost like a compression fracture, boom, and it causes the swelling, and it causes a trabecular fracture. Um, but the main reason was, once again, because of this root tear. So these patients uh, can be managed a couple of ways. It depends on how bad their symptoms are. In, in, uh, in most cases, uh, what I do for people who uh, have this scenario here and who are active and who don't have much arthritis at all in their joint is I do a root repair. A root repair is a procedure. It's an arthroscopic outpatient procedure where this stump is reattached to the bone using very, very uh, uh, um, small instruments done all arthroscopically. Uh, and then after surgery, uh, the patient is, uh, is uh, given walker or crutches and they're told to protect their weight bearing until the root reattaches itself to the bone uh, in, uh, in a spot weld type of, of manner period. And once it reattaches itself, now the femur once again has its pad underneath and it will not uh, have, uh, it will not uh, injure the bone below. Anyways, this is a classic finding, MRI, showing trabecular uh, compression fracture of the medial tibial condyle, slightly extruded medial meniscus with a root avulsion. And if we look at the lateral view, this is or sagittal view, it'll have the classic disappearing medial meniscus root sign. So this is the sagittal or side view Front is over here, back is over here. Medial meniscus posterior horn is right there. And if we follow it towards the tear, it disappears. It's gone and it should be right here. So that's called a disappearing root sign, which is associated with a root avulsion. Uh, the, and once again, these patients are often thought to have Baker cysts. They don't have Baker cysts. Thank you very much.